Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I am at Pasul Burgoli, Piatra Fontanelle, and that is the crossing between Transylvania and Moldova. That's Pasul Burgoli where Bram Stoker placed his uh, novel Dracula. And this is the pass going down that way, you go to Transylvania, going this way, you go to Moldova. I made a video before this one just with the um, showing you the surroundings and now I will talk while I'm walking here about another Vlad, not Vlad Tsepes, but Vlad Putin. And Mr. Vlad Putin landed in North Korea today. What does that mean? That means, again, that these guys in the West, and yes, yes, to a certain extent, big extent, I blame them. I blame their actions. When I say that, I'm not, I'm not saying the people, but I'm saying their the guys in charge of them who are actually someone else's people, not our people, uh, made some decisions and they cornered Russia. And Russia reacted unprovoked and invaded what it was, Ukraine, at that point, in order to, as they say, defend their Russians living in, or the Russian-speaking population living in uh, East Ukraine. They were slaughtered by Ukrainian tanks, airplanes, and everything else with Western weapons, among others. All this was obviously got on the last, last lap when uh, they uh, decided to overthrow the government of uh, Viktor Yanukovych. Yana... I think that's how it's called, Yanukovych. The uh, president-elect legitimate of Ukraine at that, uh, at that time. And uh, then, uh, obviously, was not recognized by all Ukrainians. Therefore, it happened what happened in Donbass and in Crimea. It occurred democratically um, conducted referenda, unlike Kosovo. Uh, in the Kosovo, the parliament decided independence, not the referenda and the referendum. But this were referenda, more than one, in Crimea to break away from Ukraine and to join Russia. And then you have um, provinces or oblasts in eastern East Ukraine doing the same thing, uh, not recognizing the government from Kiev, which came about after a coup d'etat organized by, how do you call those, uh, agencies, foreign agencies, and with the help of traitors, like in Romania, for instance, in 1989. Here is, it's called uh, Castello Dracula, Dracula's castle, there's no such a thing here, Dracula or Vlad Tsepes, who these guys identify as Dracula here, is not, not known to cross through the Pasul Bergoli from Transylvania, which is to the west, to Moldova to the east, and the mountains are running north to south. So let's go back to these guys. So Putin warned them that if you guys don't accept our proposals into having a low biting agreements regarding Ukraine, which they said no NATO, buffer zone, uh, no nuclear uh, country, and uh, neutral, as they said, which was, was um, declined by the West in 2021, if you remember, in December, and then is a restaurant. And then the Russians said, well, we want 
us to negotiate and uh, agree with uh, the buffer zone. The West said, no, fuck off, what are you going to do? And the Russians told them what they're going to do, and they did it. Because many times they said, the Russians, good or bad, they're uh, consistent. As I always say, if they tell you you're going to punch you in the face, they will punch you in the face. If they tell you they're going to give you a dollar, they're going to give you a dollar. All right, beautiful mountains. Beautiful area. So here is a monastery on the back over there. We're going to see that from a different... Uh, this is going down to Transylvania. The road goes down to Transylvania. This is kind of the top on the mountains. And then from here you go down to Vatra Dorne. Vatra Dorne is a beautiful uh, place where with mineral waters. Very good, very good drinking mineral waters. And then you go to the beautiful monasteries, the old mo monasteries in Moldova. I highly recommend you go over there if you have something, not necessarily religions uh, in your heart, but you have uh, an aesthetic heart and simply a historical uh, heart. So uh, after that, uh, Putin told them and all things uh, broke loose. I think the, uh, the Americans, and not only, miscalculated Russia's power and they thought that Russia will not be able to um, unleash anything uh, on a global scale. Not only in Ukraine, because the war, this war is not about Ukraine. Eventually it's about world domination. So they didn't want that guy, 1930s and 40s. And then they got it, Americans and the Soviets. Uh, so from one, uh, they got two. And then it was only one from 19, uh, I'm sorry, from 20, uh, 2000, uh, no, from 1991, it was one, the Americans, after the understanding with the Soviets and the Soviet bloc. Yes, there was an understanding, my friend, sorry to break the news. And for those guys who celebrate every time that we, we won, yes, I don't know exactly, I mean, I know who won and who lost, but we were not on the, some of us were, no, good and bad, winning side and losing side. So, the Americans, unfortunately, when I'm talking about Americans, I'm talking about, you know, the guys in charge of the Americans, and that's not Biden and all those tards. Uh, they had a chance to make a better world. Institute Pax Americana from 1991 to 2022, February 24th. But they didn't. I think they failed. I don't think they failed, actually. I think they calculated that. And this is what we have now. Russia responded. And we have this garbage now in Ukraine. And there, if you remember, the Russians went to... It was right in uh, 2022 when Foreign Minister Lavrov and Secretary of State Blinken used to go to countries in Africa, South America, East Asia, Asia, tried to convince India on whose side to be, bribe and all that. Even the Japanese went to India and offered them some aid or investment of about 40 or 50 million dollars. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> Bill, billion, b -b 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 billion dollars. Over there you go to Moldova. But uh, the Indians are smarter than that. And they didn't accept that. And then obviously these guys are trying to create problems, not only in the Middle East, but they activated a lot of shit. North Korea obviously joined someone who would not kick them in the teeth. And that is Russia's organization, Russia, China, on the structure of BRICS. And not only, because these guys, as I said many times before, these guys being the Russians, are not... This is, uh, they're remodeling this. It's a hotel, a restaurant right here. I ate here a long time ago. Frog legs. Yes, I like frog legs a lot. Here is the hotel, and this is called the Hotel Castel Dracula, Hotel Castle Dracula. Nothing to do with him, but it used to be good. Now they are remodeling it. I don't think they will successfully do that. I actually know uh, through, you know, the owner of this thing, but I don't know how long has been like this. I'm not going to focus on this. I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to go on the other side too. So the Russians unleashed their political... This is the way it is. You have a, a drunken guy with a shotgun in a parking lot. Where's the other people? Or in the schoolyard. 
I'm going to give you this analogy as a kid, because as a kid, I lived in a schoolyard and I know the dynamics. It's like, like the world. We individuals are countries. And you have some bullies over there, you have some, uh, you have some bullies over there, you have some uh, uh, weasels, you have uh, lieutenants, you have all, all kinds, like in a real country, like in a real world, in a, like international arena. So over there is, uh, this is the, we are located here. That's Transylvania, these are the mountains. This goes Transylvania, this goes to Moldova. Like we call Ibiza, very good. Trout over there, fishing. And uh, I've been there. That's what I'm saying and I know they have it. And here is a little uh, monument dedicated to Bram Stoker. But these guys, uh, as I said, they picked the Dracula into Draco. Someone want LA, probably. Probably, and this is this guy. And um, the Russians uh, opened a new opportunity for the people who got kicked in the teeth by this bully guy in a bad mood, maybe drunk, or maybe under the influence of, okay, with a shotgun, shooting everybody, kicking everybody in the teeth, and shooting in the air. So this guy said, you know what? We better uh, find an alternative. And there was no alternative, but they were working on it. They being the Russians and the uh, Chinese. Why? Because they are too strong. Remember, just walk in the woods and you're going to find that there's no oak trees next to one another. Why? Because an oak tree doesn't uh, uh, accept another oak tree in its vicinity. So the same, um, the Americans obviously wanted to destroy competition. I'm not talking about Americans, I'm, saying, I'm talking about the economic, financial interests that rule the United States of America. And there's a, that's not you and I. Right here. I hope I don't fall down here. Well, anyway, what can you do? I mentioned this in another video. It was a guy who commented uh, in my video when I made it uh, in Bucharest. And he said that my... Uh, um, pants are LGBTQ approved pants so I don't know if these are also LGBTQ approved pants but I don't really care because I like them shorter than uh, you know to go all the way here like a kid I like them like that all right so LGBTQ approved too all right I don't give a shit I thought it was funny as fuck I even commented back to that one so um, you have that guy who, for, for, from 1990, 1991 to 2022, kicked everybody in the teeth, almost everybody in the teeth, and lectured everybody how they should behave, because you have no democracy, you have no freedom of religion, you don't have this, you don't have, but we have everything. Uh, you can't touch us. And if you don't like what you do, and we want something that you have, and you don't want to give it to us, let's say you have a pretty wife, and a pretty, no, yeah, pretty wife, and you want her, and he's not going to give it to you, just say, well, you know what? Well, what are you looking at? That's very, um, how do you call it? Um, you violate some freedom rights somewhere, or freedom rights, uh, whatever it is. So you go and kick the Iraq in the head, Syria in the head, um, uh, Libya in the head, uh, and Afghanistan, and so on, and try to start shit. Well, the problem is when you are uh, about to fight a big guy like Russia, in order to get China, and the final uh, destination is global domination. Obviously, you have to uh, uh, break some eggs to make an omelet. And now they are at Russia. Russia told them, we're going to fuck you up. And these guys said, <laughs> you're weak. They thought they're dealing with Yeltsin. Well, they dealt with Vlad. I'm going to fall. My <laughs> own blood violence. All right, what, you want to suck my blood, little fucker? So, now... Vladimir Putin, obviously, it's clear that it's two fronts, it's two clubs, the plantation, as I call it, plantation of Al Capone, United States of America, with its uh, vassal states in uh, the European Union, most of them, and uh, it's not that they all want to be over there. Some of them don't want to be over there, but uh, it makes sense at this point to be there. Once there's a better alternative, functional alternative then they will jump or they will say like India you know what we do business with all of you guys and uh, India cannot be kicked in the teeth by the uh, by Al Capone or by the Russians at this point or by the Indians so therefore at this point is a um, 
how do you call it, enrollment. The Russians opened the Oro and Russians and the Chinese and others, they opened an enrollment to their option, which is the parking lot. The guy who kicked these guys in the teeth for so long, now see that their guys, little guys, are going to a protector. Like in a neighborhood, protection tax. Uh, you pay. So that's what they do now. Unfortunately for the Americans and for all of us, to a certain extent, Russia has a lot of countries wanting to join them because they don't have bad memories with Russia or with the Soviet Union per se. And as of now, it seems like Russia offers a different alternative to you do what I say, otherwise I'm going to find something and I'm going to take your wife. So you better give her to me willingly than, um, you know, make me use some proxy war to f you up. Why well, I'm ninja. <laughs> right. What's this? What are you? I'm going to save you. Okay. It was a Kroitor. It was a little thing here. It was on a... It's water. There you go. Opa. Mother. All right. Good. Let me see if I... Still hear me? So now, obviously, these guys say, well, Russia is strong enough. What Russia withstood the West attack and China is with Russia. So how about we join that? And that's exactly what um, North Korea is doing. It's going to have, as Putin said, we're going to offer you an alternative security, um, uh, security economic and military security option than the West, which is they're going to form an alternative organization and I'm assuming and I'm assuming I said this for some time from the very beginning they will create different structures like they have a World Bank the World Bank is not a World Bank like the World Bank all right the same they will create banks they will create institutions they will give insurance to their fleets I'm talking about the economic uh, you know vessels and all that uh, commercial vessels they will not go to the British commercial vessels uh, insurance companies to allow them to function on the global scale they will do their Olympics uh, probably separately or who, uh, who wants to join both BRICS had its own uh, a minute ago, a minute ago. Uh, I think they're still uh, open BRICS countries have a uh, competition athletic competition like the Olympics right now I think I don't know if it's still on or not but in the past week Again, it's an alternative because the Russians were kicked out or they were, I think, in a very ugly way. Um, sports should not be sanctioned like that. And not sport necessary, but the sports people. They have nothing to do with uh, whatever, whomever is the dictator. Remember, these guys accepted the Soviets, they accepted all these countries to the Olympics under their flags when they were bad and they're gonna nuke us but now they don't accept the Russians I mean that's that's such a and people see countries see and when they see this obviously I'm gonna stay with the wind in my face uh, obviously they will choose others that give them a better option so right now right now Putin is over there Putin is with uh, Xi Jinping Putin went with China uh, to China about about um, not even a month ago if I remember correctly and so on look how these guys have here a grave their own backyard so what's gonna happen what can the Americans do nothing 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 and it's gonna be another um, uh, defensive blocks or a defensive blocks against the free world in the Far East which is over there by China North Korea that area uh, by the way Putin is gonna visit Vietnam as well so again Vietnam is going to come in the sphere of influence of of the how should I call these guys the, the new free world I think I, that's the way I would call these guys the new free world um, you know like that novel uh, but I can't remember that Hawkswell was it that Hawkswell new brave world was that I can't remember a long time ago when I read that thing and <laughs> uh, as you can tell I'm a little bit white here so uh, and not only um, I forget brave new world wasn't that Huxwell I think so or Huxwell was with a, a river of blood <laughs> I know that guy too I thought he made sense big time and now you can look that he was right they got it the way they got it uh, what was his name Anyway, I can't look right now. I don't have another phone. Memory is as it is. 
So here it is, my friends. Putin is going to be North Korea. And yes, these guys can't do shit. And they don't know how to put the genie in the box. Because as long as these guys will be together, Al Capone and his shotgun and his drunken spree uh, will not be able to uh, uh, do much about it. They will work against these guys. Uh, so will the other ones. So the, so the new free world, let's call it this way, the, the organization, uh, Russia, China, India, BRICS on the BRICS system, um, so on, Iran, Saudi Arabia seems like it ditched uh, uh, the dollar to a certain extent. They did anyway in the direct uh, oil purchases with China. Remember, they did a deal for about $16 billion. It was about Oh, a year ago, they will trade in yuan, not the dollar. Yuan being uh, the Chinese currency. All right, my friends, here it is, the, the brave new world. The, the new world uh, organization, the new world, the new free world, uh, it seems like it's emerging. Sorry to say that. Uh, we'll see how this guy's going to react on the domestic front. How many of our rights will be infringed because we will be attacked by the free new world. Uh, they are working on that and they will try to get you and I and others to go and fight the new free world. You'll see that. They also, the NATO, said they also activated uh, nuclear weapons. They are talking about activating that. So they, you know, up their game. They will not use nuclear weapons. And if the Russians are going to use tactical nuclear weapons, I guarantee you those guys will do shit. They will probably go and talk to Putin the next day. Why? Because they have more to lose. After all, they don't want their kids to die for Zelensky Stein or the Ukrainians that they have not known anything about before, what, two years and a half ago. Nothing. They're gone. So that's a lot of bullshit and the media is in their hands. And who watches the so-called uh, mainstream media, which is actually, what is it? Is it corporate media? Is their media? And it's all... No, I, 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 when I want to say too much, I get that way, it seems like. Uh, notice that in a few videos so far is the intelligence community, the military, industrial complex, and the banks. But the thing is, who has the guns has the power. So if you talk about the media, and uh, media could be, if the, the military wants an operation in two hours, can, can make sure that the uh, media in the United States of America, the mainstream media, will say what they want them to say. They already do, so that tells you who's who, what, what. The same with the intelligence community. Why? They will make the judges write whatever and sign whatever they want. Uh, why? Who's got this? Show up to a debate and put a gun on the table and see who's going to win the, the debate. You will win it. That's exactly how it runs. And it's not a big, big businesses. If these guys want tomorrow, Donald, not Donald, uh, Donald is taken care of. And the baboons are, yeah, man, justice. If you want to talk about justice, then have Metallica's album and justice for all, right? And get all those guys. But nah, nah. It's... Um, preferential justice preferential justice but if they want musk tomorrow musk to be arrested legally legally i think they can do it with um, 3000 judges signing the arrest warrant right there why because the judges don't have that on the table but the whoever has it and that is the uh, military industrial complex and the intelligence community community intelligence no these guys, uh, FBI, CIA, and those guys. If you think that uh, we are free, yeah, we are free as much as we don't rock the boat. If you want to rock the boat, they're going to uh, try to uh, threaten you. And if they can't, they will try to hurt you. And if they can't, they will try to pay you to join them. And if you don't, then you have what Russia, uh, the problem they have now right now with Russia. All right, my friends. From the beautiful Pasul Tihuza, Pasul Bergoli, Piatra Fantanelle, I tell you, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See you later, my friends.